morning YouTube, how you doing? I've got little Hamish here who is in his stripy uh, sleep suit that I always put on him for Halloween because it reminds me of Toby from the Labyrinth but actually it's a Christmas one. <laughs> so happy Christmas everyone. So uh, Kelly Girl did two tags. She did what does your collection say about you? and what are your collecting goals and so i thought i would try and kill two birds with one stone and cover both of those in this video because i just don't make enough videos to do two nor do i have enough time so what does my collection say about me i've thought about this all morning and i think it's a really tricky one to answer yourself i i have found it really really tricky i don't know what it says about me other than i'm a 48 year old woman that collects life like baby dolls for no other reason other than i enjoy collecting them that's it's not for the cliche i can't have children or i'm filling a gap or i just truly truly enjoy collecting them um and ultimately all the accessories because I think we that the accessories and things are more attainable we you know every couple of weeks you can buy an outfit or every week you can buy an outfit or a bottle or something whereas bringing home a baby every week is obviously it's not attainable for most of us um certainly not ones that cost thousands of pounds so I know why I collect Sorry, I know what I collect and why I collect. Um, and, and just to, for those of you that don't know, I collect because they remind me of my beautiful children when they were little. They're all grown now. Children get to a stage that you can no longer dress them or put them in the cute things because they be become their own little people and personalities and, you know, wear what they want to wear. Uh, and outgrow the little cute things and these babies never do they don't outgrow anything um and i love the little baby things it, yes it reminds me of when my children are little and those precious memories and those precious moments but ultimately i just i just like it i just enjoy it and i enjoy that you know i can not do anything with them for weeks on end if i don't want to um, because I'm doing other stuff in real life and then just pick up where, where, where I left off. Nobody's neglected or, or hurt and, you know, I can just do what I want. And I like that. Um, so I know why, but what does it say about me? I don't know. I think an outsider looking in would say, she's batshit. Like, and I, aren't we all? And I don't mean that in a in a hurtful way or a derogatory way or, you know, I just mean that it's not normal um, in the real world. In the real world, outside of this screen, I don't know anyone. So that makes it a minority and not normal, right? I don't know anyone. Um, and, and I don't tell everyone, which also makes it not normal, right? Because otherwise I would just tell everyone. Um, so, so, yeah, that's probably what it says about me. But I don't know. I don't know, Ke Kelly, this is a tricky one. Um, it's a tricky one. I don't know what it says about me. It probably says that I'm spoiled because I have a few. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it says about me. Um, but what are my collecting goals? Um, as real as humanly possible without being real right that's what i want as real as humanly possible without being real within my means within my budget um i want to 
be able to have a baby in a crib or um he a little beautiful boy he looked too cute then have a baby in a crib and a stranger second glance um i want to be able to have a baby in a pram and a stranger second glance and think that they're real um to be fooled because to me that's the ultimate compliment right if if a complete stranger that doesn't know that it's a doll thinks it's a real baby then you have a realistic baby right um i don't i do collect lots of different types of dolls but not baby dolls i only collect ultra realistic vinyl or ultra realistic silicon baby dolls and ultimately that's where i want that's where i want to invest my put my money i if i you know if i wanted a doll to look like a doll i could go to toys i mean toys R Us doesn't even exist anymore but i could go to a toy shop and um get a baby annabelle or a tiny tears or something but that's not i don't collect them just to have a doll i want ultra realism and as realistic as possible um and i enjoy both the vinyl and the silicon but for different reasons i think the silicon is beautiful feels beautiful in your arms and the movement is beautiful but the vinyl is much nicer to uh, photograph. If you understuff the cloth body, you can put them in a very realistic, um, living, almost living poses and make them look ultra real just by pointing your camera phone, your phone camera at the at them and, and away you go. Whereas I think the vinyl, uh, sorry, the silicon is a little bit more tricky because you know, unless you've got a bazillion pillows and stuff, they're just trickier, they're trickier. And I think to really appreciate silicon is, is in person, is to hold them, to feel them, to see them in person, is the enjoyment of the, um, of the silicon. So my goals would be as humanly realistic as possible to, to, to fool somebody who wouldn't know. That's, that's, that's the goal for me. That's my ultimate goal. Um, have I achieved that? I'm not sure. Sometimes I think I have. Um, but again, I think that's for others to, to say. Uh, that's, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the, if you fooled someone, then you have. Um, and I have fooled lots of people on lots of occasions. Um, but then I think your eye gets used to them, gets used to the babies. So as ultra realistic as possible is, is the goal for me and authentic. Um, yeah, that's probably, that's probably where I sit. But Kelly, that was a tricky one to answer. Um, I do have a new bub coming, actually. Um, I have a new bub coming and I'm finding this bub's name particularly tricky because I found a name that I absolutely loved that suits this baby down to the ground, but there is already this name in our community. And... I reached out to that particular mum who doesn't care. She was like, yeah, if that's cool, call baby that. That's fine. Um, but don't know. But don't know. So if you've got any suggestions for baby names, um, throw them at me, boy or girl, because I'm not telling you the sex of the baby, but throw them at me. Um, I think quite old-fashioned names. Um, I've got a few on a list. And a few that fit but I keep going back to the original one because that's all I can see um, and ultimately it's a name and it doesn't matter um, but it does at the same time because I can't 
call them something and then change it once it's the name the name so we need a name so throw names at me um for a baby boy or girl gender neutral whatever throw names at me um but i'm probably thinking old-fashioned names would suit this particular baby really well um I've gone through the lists. I've gone through lists and lists and lists and lists and lists. And I've got a bazillion for the sex that the baby isn't. And about three for the sex that the baby is. <laughs> so if you've got any suggestions, that would be awesome. Throw them at me. Um, and thank you, Kelly, for the, for the tags. Oh, it was tricky, though. It was so tricky. Um, have a great day happy hump day is it wednesday yeah happy hump day and um hopefully i'll see you in another video very soon probably not maybe i don't know have a great day oh give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more subscribe thanks see you soon